a multiple regression model to see if money, anger, love can predict quality of life. And they are all scale variables. Let me pull that over, right? So remember, multiple regression prefers scale, continuous numbers. You can use categorical variables, but that's that's a little deep, and I'm not going to go over it in this class. But let's go ahead and run the regression. Analyze regression. We always assume linearity. The DV is quality of life. That's what we're trying to predict. And our independent variables are money, money, money. Anger, 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 Arr, love, kiss, kiss, kiss. Okay, so we go to statistics. We click these. There's a bunch of other ones, but again, this is multiple regression light. And so here's the descriptive statistics. In regression, we don't care about means and standard deviations. And the correlation box, you can look at that, but it basically we like to look at the model summary and the ANOVA box. And the ANOVA box should be the first one that tells us if this is a significant prediction model or not. And it's not. You see that? It is not a significant prediction. This sig, sig value is not less than 0.05. So that means money, anger, and love are not good predictors of quality of life. And you can double check here with the beta weights of each one. And you'll notice that none of them are significant. So in other words, this is not a good prediction model. MGZ, out. Oh.